What's up guys, Marcus here, today I'm going to be talking about Dread. Dread was released back in 2012 and it was written by Alex Garland and directed by B. Travis. And it stars Carl Urban, Olivia Thurlby and Lena Headey. She's the actress who plays Cersei in Game of Thrones. The story is about a judge from a futuristic city called Judge Dread, uh, based on the comics, or, uh, called Judge Dread as well. And a rookie judge called Judge Anderson, and they have to investigate a triple homicide when they get trapped inside a district and people are out to kill them. Dread is a very great movie. I haven't watched the original Judge Dread yet, but this one was outstanding. The amount of fun I had watching it was huge. Um, it's an action movie and the action is very creative and interesting and innovative. And it doesn't hold back at all with all the violence, uh, which is clear by the R rating. There's a lot of gore in this movie. Uh, and I love that, to be honest. This also, the story is also really good, if not very simple, <laughs> but it's told in a very interesting way and it makes for a very cool experience while watching it. The direction ranges from competent to really great. It depends on the scene, but the editing was very good. There are so many scenes where the editing really stood out as something exceptional. The score is just a generic superhero movie score. Sometimes it's cool, but it's mostly forgettable. Uh, one thing I liked a lot was the fact that the movie was very contained. By that I mean it takes place in a few locations and it's just a couple of people trying to accomplish a goal. Uh, very straightforward. It's very different from most superhero movies with like a... Uh, Ray coming from the sky and terraforming the earth like it's already happened 1500 times in superhero movies. Carl Urban is amazing as Judge Dredd, even though we never see his face apart from his mouth because he never takes his helmet off, which I commend him for it because a lot of actors would be like, no, I gotta take my helmet off, I gotta show my face, but Carl Urban didn't do that and I, I really appreciate that, I think that's, that's really cool to be honest. Um, Olivia Thurlby is also very good as Judge Anderson, and I really liked her character, she was very well developed, and her arc is pretty cool, but the best action in this movie was Lena Headey, Hattie, Hedy, uh, Lena, <laughs> she was fantastic, uh, her makeup was also stellar, you understand why I'm saying that when you watch the movie, but Lena Headey, Hattie, Lena was very intimidating in this movie, and she always gave the vibe of what the movie wanted, you know, like, a character who commands the room, uh, who's never afraid, you know, she, she's always powerful, she's always in charge of everything. She was really great, which was made better by the fact that she's actually quite developed in the movie, she's not a generic, one-dimensional villain like, uh, I don't know, Ronan, which I, I, I like Guardians of the Galaxy, but you know what I mean. Another very good aspect was the world building, uh, which actually surprised me. Uh, I thought it was really great at establishing the w how the world works in the movie's universe with just a few minutes. The special effects all look really good for the most time, which is sort of to be expected from a budget of 50 million dollars, but it's not like a Marvel movie with, two, with a budget of 200 or 250 million dollars, you know, it's just 50 million, it's, it's like basically the same budget as Joker, I think, Joker was 55 million. Overall, it's a very fun movie, it passed Baby Driver in my second favorite action movie, but it being an action movie doesn't mean it's completely devoid of any meaning or thematic value. It's not a dumb action movie, which would be fine as well, but it's a movie that talks about police brutality, violence, and it's done very well and tastefully. Also, Dread is just 90 minutes long, which helps with the pacing, especially because it's, it's a slow movie, but since it's just 90 minutes long, it's straightforward, you know, it's not... It's low in the sense there's not like action scenes over and over again, you know, it develops the characters, it makes a compelling story and the action scenes are in the middle as uh, and are well made, you know, and it being quite short actually helped because if it was this low probably it would have been like boring to some people. I mean, I know people find it boring already for some reason, I don't know, this movie was great. I give Dread an 8 out of 10. Uh, I really love this movie, it's not perfect of course, but uh, it's got so many aspects that I did like a lot. Uh, so yeah, I suggest you watch it, I really recommend it. You won't be disappointed. The end of the movie left open the possibility of a sequel, but the movie flopped hard when it was released. On the budget of 50 million dollars, they only made 35 million back, so worldwide, you know? So. Never gonna get a sequel, unfortunately, but who knows, maybe someone else will buy the property, or, I don't know. Well, let's see. Hopefully we get something else like this, because it's very different from most comic book movies, and I really like that, so, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment suggesting a movie or a TV show for me to review. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.